Days after widespread civil unrest brought Israel to the brink of civil war, locals in the flashpoint city Lod file claims for cars vandalized in the mayhem. The central Israel mixed Jewish and Arab community is seemingly calmer, but tensions that led to the violence are still stewing. They're arguing about Al-Aqsa Mosque, Islam's third holiest site, versus the Temple Mount, Judaism's holiest site. The two holy places literally sit on top of each other in Jerusalem's old city. When Israeli police stormed Al-Aqsa Mosque in May during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan, a violent response kicked off in Lod and spread to 21 other cities. Homes, cars, and places of worship were torched. Arabs and Jews brutally attacked and killed each other. If someone broke into your house, armed and supported by the police, will you defend yourself? Jewish settlers, described as Jewish militias by some commentators, bust into flashpoint cities armed with guns, wooden bats, and metal pipes to, quote, help the police. They started. Yeah. They throw on us uh, bombs. We protect ourselves. Conditions remain ripe for a renewed surge of civil unrest. Up to 90 percent of suspects arrested in connection with the recent violence are reportedly Arabs. That aligns with decades-long complaints coming from Arab lawmakers and members of Israel's 20 percent Arab communities of racism, discrimination, displacement, police brutality, and weapons funneling from Israel military bases to Arab communities. When the weapons started aiming at Jews, everyone woke up. The problem started here and spread throughout the country, but the writing was on the wall. A block away from the damage claims department, Muslims clean up the local cemetery and assess damage to graves desecrated by rampaging Jews. The violence in towns like Lod didn't shock residents, but it did prompt a major shift within Israel's society that some are still coming to terms with. They came to my house. I went to theirs, had parties and birthdays together. We all went out together, all good and well. When this happened, it all turned on me. Thirty-five people unfollowed me on Instagram and wrote, we're not friends, we never really liked you, stick with your people, we hate you, death to Arabs. Fixing damaged cars and torched property, that's the easy part. Fixing racism, discrimination and deep mistrust between the communities, that demands policy change that comes from the top, the government. There's no fix for the people who lost their lives. Stephanie Freed, CGTN, Lod, Israel.